Here we have CPM running on a Rabbit 2000 development board. I was able to port CPM to this board without too much effort. Did it in about a weekend. Um, the way it works now is it, it uses two serial ports. One serial port, this one, serial port A is used for the console, which will be up here on this monitor. Uh, the other serial port here is used kind of like a virtual disk drive, so any read or write requests that the CPM operating system does will be routed out through this serial port. This, uh, this is connected to the PC, which is running a small server program, which serves disk drives. And so you can load up disk images on your PC and have CPM use it. Um, currently I have these four LEDs hooked up to represent uh, this is console console read this LED is console write and these two LEDs are for disk access disk read and disk write so once I reset this you can actually watch what happens on the screen all right first thing it does it clears all the RAM then the BIOS which I wrote runs it says rabbit 3000 CPM um, uh, then it syncs with the server, which is right here. You can see that it's requesting to read a bunch of tracks. It's actually reading the directory. And we get the A prompt, so we're ready to go. So we can do things like erase all the files on the disk. When I hit yes here, you can watch the disk activity on the rabbit board. All right, so it erased all the files. And you can also see quite a few disk accesses where we can one on here. Also, you can change drives. I currently have four drives implemented. Drive C happens to have quite a few CPM files on it. You can do things like type, uh, let's look at uh, sysgen.sub. Oh, there it goes. You can also, let's see, let's do a copy. Let's copy um, stat.com to drive A. You can also watch the lights. And then you also saw it reload uh, CPM because once uh, PIP runs, it overwrites the CPM. So operating system has to do a warm reboot. And it worked. You can A to A, and there it is. You can uh, let's generate a hex listing of stat.com. And let's type it, type stat.hex. Oh, there it is. <laughs> let's run stat. Uh, what is this? Stat. Uh, let's see. Stat star dot star. That'll show us all the... Looks like we have, what, 36k left on this disk. And there are some disk statistics. So there you have it. That's uh, CPM ported to run on the Rabbit 2000 processor board. It's quite a fun project.
I'm happy now that it's done. I can move on to something else. All right. If you have any questions, send me an email. Also, if you want the code, I, I can give you that too. All right. Hope you enjoy. Bye.